Let us now take the third model from the topic of allegations and mixtures which is based on the concept of removal and replacement of a given liquid with some other liquid for a given number of operations. Let us understand the statement first. Now the statement here is let a vessel contain A liters of milk from which B liters is withdrawn and replaced with water. If this operation of removal and replacement is performed n times then the quantity of milk left in the vessel after n operations will be equal to a into 1 minus b by a whole to the power of n. So as you can see here we have a vessel which contains a liters of milk. So the liquid that we have here is milk and the quantity is a liters. Now out of this a liters of milk b liters is withdrawn. So b liters is withdrawn, removed and replaced with water, replaced with equal quantity of water. So if you are removing b liters of milk, we put back b liters of water. Now this operation of removal and replacement, removing b liters of milk and replacing with water is performed n times. Then the quantity of milk left in the vessel after n operations will be equal to a into 1 minus b by a whole to the power of n. Let us understand the reason behind using this compounding formula. The point here is initially the vessel contains a liters of pure milk without any water in it. Now out of this a liters as the statement says b liters is withdrawn so b liters of milk is removed and it is replaced with b liters of water. So after the first operation the vessel which initially contained a liters of milk has now got a mixture of milk and water. And now when we try to remove b liters from it we cannot get pure milk we will get a mixture of milk and water. So we will remove b liters of mixture of milk and water and replace with b liters of pure water and this operation is repeated n times. So that is reason when we have to find out the quantity of milk left out in the complete mixture after n operations we can simply use this formula a into 1 minus b by a whole to the power of n to get the required answer where a is the initial quantity of milk or the quantity of vessel and b is the amount of milk which is being removed and replaced with water in the first instance and from the second instance onwards b becomes the amount of mixture which is being removed and replaced with pure water and n is the number of operations. The other point here is in our case we have taken a case of milk and water but it can be any type of liquid. For example let's say initially we have A liters of alcohol out of which B liters is removed and replaced with water and so on the operation is continued for n times. So there again the formula can be taken as A into 1 minus B by A whole to the power of n. So whatever be the type of liquid always we can use this formula to get the final quantity of milk in the mixture after n operations. Let us now take the first example from model 3 of allegations and mixtures which is based on the removal and replacement concept. The question here is a container has 40 liters of wine. From this container 4 liters of wine is taken out and replaced with water. This process is repeated 2 more times. What will be the final quantity of water in the container? As you can see here initially we have 40 liters of wine out of which 4 liters is taken out and replaced with water and this operation or this process is repeated 2 more times. So that means this removal and replacement has taken for a total 3 times. Initially it was done once and then repeated 2 more times. So total 3 times. What will be the final quantity of water in the container? Now understand from the formula that we have discussed we can find out the final quantity of wine. Initially the quantity of wine is 40 liters. So what is the final quantity of wine? It can be taken as A of 1 minus B by A whole to the power of N. In our case A is equal to 40, B is equal to 4 and N is equal to 3 because the operation has been performed 3 times. But the formula will give us the final quantity of wine not the water. But once we get the final quantity of wine we can find out the final quantity of water by taking the difference from 40 liters. So let's understand what will be the final quantity of wine in the container after 3 operations. So final quantity of wine can be taken as a into 1 minus b by a whole to the power of n. 
so this will be equal to 40 because a is 40 1 minus b by a which is 4 by 40 whole to the power of n and here is 3 because we have performed this operation three times so on simplification we get the value as 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 or this is nothing but 1 by 10 so 1 minus 1 by 10 is 9 by 10 9 by 10 whole to the power of 3 so this will be equal to 40 into 9 cube by 10 cube what is 9 cube 729 so 729 into 4 right let's let's multiply with 4 first 729 into 4 will be 2800 plus 29 into 4 is 116 so 2916 so this will give us 2916 into see we have multiplied with 4 but 1 0 is extra there so multiplying by 10 divided by 10 cube is 1000 so 0 then we get cancelled we are left with 2916 by 100 which will be equal to 29.16 liters so we can say that the final quantity of wine is equal to 29.16 liters but the question says find out the final quantity of water so final quantity of water can be taken as see the total quantity of vessel is 40 liters out of these 40 liters 29.16 is wine so 40 minus 29.16 will give us the quantity of water so this can be taken as 40 minus 29.16 which will be equal to 10.84 liters so the final quantity of water in this vessel is going to be 10.84 that is nothing but 40 minus 29.16 so this is how the idea is use the formula a of 1 minus b by a whole power n to find out the questions based on removal and replacement